Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is cool. I have had this kit for some time. My friend Billy Bear sent this to me a while back, a year ago, or, or maybe more. And I don't think I've ever opened it and really looked at it. It's been partially started. I think the work or the, the hauling bed of the truck has been started. But, and I've not ever done a, an inventory of all the parts, but I think it's all here. I think Billy kept up with it all. This thing is super neat. Um, they made, I believe they made a version that had a pulling car. This is a drag car. But I think they had this truck also with a pulling uh, funny car. A uh, tractor pull type deal. I'm going to see if it had a date on it. It's kit number 6501. I don't see it, a date. So, AMT didn't date their kits um, until like, I think Ertl started uh, to bought the company. Um, you, you can hardly find any dates except on like scale mates of earlier AMT kits, like the actual date, maybe on the earlier but in the late 70s, you, you didn't see dates on anything. And this, this kit, I hope this doesn't pull the paper off. I taped it to keep it shut. Yeah, so finding the date on it. But I would assume that this kit is probably... Uh, looking at that truck there, I would say early 80s. But it's hard to find a... Okay, hold on. So this is AMT before it was purchased. This is AMT Corporation. This is before it got bought out by Matchbox. So maybe this is about, I would think that truck was newer than that, but I'm thinking maybe 78, 1978, somewhere around there. You guys let me know in the comment section. 6501 is the kit number. Anyway, let's check this out. Ooh, ooh! Look at that. Those decals are so yellow, but aren't they cool? Man, that is something else. There's the decals for the the truck. I mean, they may be still fine. Wow, that is something else. And here is the car Mustang Two. See the grill there. Mustang 2, Budweiser, Krager, STP, Excel. All the cool names. Here's the glass. It's like for the both vehicles, the truck and the car. Here's the here's the car. So he had already he has you see the glue is really yellowed, but yes, yeah, so I glued some of the funny car together if I'm not mistaken yeah I'm, I'm not mistaken look at this there's two different noses here let me turn that so there's two noses that could have been put on here I think they could have been yeah and they're different so this almost looks like a Pinto. I don't know. And this one that's on it is the Mustang 2. So I'm interested to know. Maybe the instructions will show something about that. But yeah, here's the here's the car. And Billy is a professional builder, so this is not just the glue bomb. He just never got around to completing it. hood to the truck big air filter that sticks out the side f-o-r-d which means everybody together first on race day thank you here's the big thing humongous so there's the there's the, the hauler 
This is really cool. Just so much styrene. Super neat, super, super neat. Here's the cab of the truck with a Caterpillar V8 in, in the cab. How did that get in there? It's be like a Chinese jigsaw puzzle. Trying to figure out how that got in there. Oh, it got in there like that. Okay. Duh. So there's the, there's the dash, the seats. That's neat. It's got the uh, stationary seat here. It's got the air ride seat on the driver's side. Pretty neat detail. I've always wondered, the poor passenger in a big rig, unless it's a really nice big rig, they really get it because they don't have an air seat. All right, so there's the cab. No warpage. Hey, I hear the train coming, guys. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. And here's the chassis for the truck. Holy cow. This thing is ginormous. Just ginormous. Yep, there's the train coming. There's Billy's fingerprint right there. Glue fingerprint. You're busted, Billy. Gotcha. So, yeah, there's the... Nice job putting this together, too. This actually looks really, really good. I don't know how many years it's been. It's been quite a few by the looks of that yellow paint. Maybe more. just, it is, it's a touch high on this corner right here. Get that twisted out. Here are the ends for the fuel, fuel tanks. Oh, here's the chassis for the here's the chassis for the funny car. Stupid train, man! That thing bugs the fire out of me. Anyway, there's the there's the uh, chassis. That's really neat. Funny car chassis. Oh, it, it, look at here. So it hooks right here. There we go. Just like that. Nice. Oh yeah, and the uh, the reason I knew this is a Caterpillar V8. I've seen a bunch of them. Um, non turbocharged Caterpillar V8. They were kind of loud. The engines were loud. Big giant starter on that thing. And I, I mean, I don't see that it says cat anywhere, but I know that's what it is. Caterpillar V8. Probably like an Allison automatic transmission or something on there. That's a guess, too. Here's one of the truck tires. What we got here? Good year. I'm trying to can't see the size that great. Custom. So I can't read it. Anyway. Nice. Nice tire. Let's see if they're all in here. Let me go in here and take a get a bag. Put all the parts in the bags. Separate everything. Here's the dually tires. It's like they're already glued together. Anyway, two. Let's see, we got ten wheels. Let's see, one, two, two, four, six wheels. What am I thinking? Two, four, six. There they are. Got them. Accounted for. Here's the engine. For the drag car, there's the transmission. For the drag car, there's the engine. Blower intake. 
There's the oil pan. I'm not sure what yet. I'm not sure yet what engine it is. I'm going to try to make an educated guess. Parachutes. No idea what those things are. But they got a lot of rivets on them. Probably something for the interior part of the cab or something like that. Ramps for the trailer. Alright. There's the valve covers I'm trying to see. it's a Ford it says Ford diesel boy that's little Ford I can't see 225 diesel or something like that I thought that was a I didn't know Ford had a V8 diesel I bet it was a Caterpillar with Ford valve covers there's the tanks Air tanks, grill for the truck, lights, chicken lights for the, uh, well, lights for the cab, cab lights. More lights, headlight buckets right here, and the uh, big old bumper, big giant bumper. Oh, uh, and the hemispherical cylinder heads for the drag engine. So I'm thinking. Probably a Chrysler. Probably a Chrysler Hemi. I would think not an aftermarket. It does have the look of the Chrysler valve cover. There's your blower or injection hat. Uh, here's your suspension pieces and some gauges and steering wheel. There's your uh, race seat right there. A whole mess load of uh, pulleys and belts for the for the truck, and then here is the blower belt for the car. And we got two different instruction sheets. Simple little build, not a lot to it. Here's the truck. But you know, I wanted to see the difference in that front clip. I know it's not going to be in here. This is for the truck. I'll go back to the car here. Front end piece. It doesn't say. Here is a catalog. Our colorful, colorful brand new edition shows the entire AMT kit line. We'll send your copy for only $1. <clears throat> send a dollar to AMT. <coughs> Alright, and here are the drag race wheels. My tires will be a drink of water. have I wonder if I'm the one to put these in the bag anyway Goodyear two-piece kind of plastic kind of rubber <coughs> excuse me yeah that's what those are drag slicks big old meaty drag slicks <coughs> <coughs> and there's more than excuse me there's more than one set there's another, there's another one right there. It's already glued together. So I've got two sets of rears and one set of fronts. These look like some sort of bias ply. Bias ply tire. Man, they're hard too. I think they are rubber though. Or some kind of flexible material and in this box just a lot of other stuff looks like a big giant power steering pump right there I bet you that's what that is 
big honking fan and the drive shaft that's as big as your hand yeah truck steering wheel i didn't see the steering wheel for the car maybe it was on one of those trees a while ago there's a big old radiator truck steering wheel <clears throat> Yeah, I don't see the I don't see the car steering wheel anywhere. That I will have to go back and look. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I did see it. I'm sorry. It was the drag style steering wheel. Okay. All right. Well, there you go, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick look at this. I actually want to just open it up and check it out. And uh, it's the hauler. It's the Ford hauler. <clears throat> the Bud Ri Bud Riser. Budweiser race team from the late 70s I do believe and there's the truck to haul it with and you couple that thing up couple that thing up right there oh no it actually goes about right there and you got yourself a race team all right well I think that'll do it thanks guys for watching this video and me blunder my way through something like this <coughs> excuse me i just think this is a cool kit he asked me a long time ago i say a long time ago it's been quite a while would you like to have that matthew i'm like yes absolutely it's already been started that's okay that's okay um yeah man this is neat so thanks billy for sending me this kit and uh, all the other kits that you've sent me i really appreciate you my friend and uh yeah guys thanks to you guys for watching these videos and bearing through the uh sometimes my ignorance and uh i do appreciate your patience your support and um yeah it means a lot to me so i appreciate it don't forget as always check out hobbynutmodels.com linked in the description of this video go check his inventory out over there mark has a great inventory of kits and paints and all the supplies you need to build a model so go check it out hobbynutmodels.com click the link in the description of the video it gives me credit and helps me out helps mark out when you go over and buy something too so uh, i appreciate all you guys do check all the rest of the things out in the description of the video and we will see you all not really but anyway i'll say it anyway see you all on the next video take care